This is what happens when you prioritize sensitivity over transparency and getting to the truth. You might think you're doing the right thing by withholding information that could potentially be embarrassing um, or make someone sad. But in reality, people are not stupid. They pick up that you're cutting out information, that you're editing information, and then they try to fill in the gaps. And if they're clever, they will come up with creative ways to fill in those gaps. And that's where you run into problems. That's why honesty is the best policy. The police should have been upfront with all the information, even if it was embarrassing, um, even if they would have gotten pilloried uh, by the pearl clutching press. They should have put everything out there so that you don't have this distrust later. And this mistrust might be well placed. The question is, how far does it go? Was there any other information that was cut out besides information that was cut out um, out of a misguided attempt to be sensitive to the victim? For example, was information cut out to avoid police embarrassment? Because now you're actually cutting out, carving out information that could lead to a killer or kidnapper um, or a third party that did exist. And I think that's why this case is so fascinating to people, because the information is clearly carved out. And the question is, what information was carved out and how far does it go? I feel free.